What's up, fellas? If you ever wonder what PP filter I use, as many of you ask me what settings do I run, what PP filters, well, this is the one. It's called Pure CS and it's made by CSO CSO. It's an amazing PP filter for Pure and VR. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to install. Then we're gonna jump into some settings and then showcase. So first things first, fellas, make sure to get WinRAR because it will be very easy to install. Secondly, fellas, you'll probably ask yourself, how do I get Raise Department account? Very simple, fellas, gonna go into Incognito, you click here on Register, then you scroll literally to the bottom and click this button here. Boom. And then you fill all this information and click Register. That's that. Once you've created an account, got WinRAR, everything is out of the way, you click Download. Once we've got Pure CS downloaded and on desktop, you want to go to a set of course of root folder. You can do this by going to Steam, Library, a set of course of right click, Properties, and then Local Files, then click Browse. Just in case for the people that don't know where exactly it is. Then, once you've found a set of course of root directory, you want to open this archive. And very important thing, fellas, even left a TXT installed manually. So remember that. Gonna Open mods folder, grab the system folder, and drag and drop it here into the empty space. Just follow everything one on one, fellas, and you'll be bulletproof. There you go. Boom. I'm gonna close everything. Of course, make sure you have pure, fellas. It's a PP filter for pure. Now, once you've installed it, you have Pure CS and Pure CS VR. So I'm going to select Pure CS because they don't use VR. Then something important, fellas, you want to go to Custom Shader Patch and you want to go to Lightning FX. Now, these are the recommended Lightning FX settings that CSO has left on his race department description, which is Scarlet Multiplier, 70%, Headlights on Interior, 50%, Bounce Light, 8%, and Headlight wideness 150 percent so these settings here will help you not get blinded by any lights either in the interior or outside when you're driving behind someone and so on now we're gonna jump in game i'm gonna show you all the settings and how to control the pp filter from pure config all right guys we're in the game so i'm gonna go very quickly on the settings by the way if you're curious about this car this is our new car from the sds car pack make sure to check it i'll leave the link down in the description also feel free to jump in our discord now Without further ado, we want to go open, check if we're using the correct filter. There we go. We use the correct filter. Boom. We're going to open the pure config. Now, fellas, very quickly on the sliders, we have everything from pure candy built in right here, as well as added way more sliders. And thank you very much, CSO, for keeping it super user friendly. Now, we have the candy slider. As usual, you know, it adjusts exposure. We talk about this in all the guides. You can right click on the slider to reset it back to normal if you change something and you don't know uh, how to reset it. You have daylight brightness as well. You can adjust your liking. Boom. Then you have brightness for bad weather. So let's make the weather bad. We're going to click on thunderstorm. Now you see when the weather changes and it becomes very bad, either foggy or it becomes a bit darker. So you can adjust the brightness when the weather is bad, which is super cool. So thank you very much for uh, making this one. Then we have some night filters. We're going to jump into nighttime and we can adjust the overall brightness at night and we can adjust the minimum brightness at night. The next slider is headlight brightness, fellas, and you can adjust the brightness of the headlights, which is super cool, especially if you're driving at nighttime, racing, or in traffic in general, whatever. And of course, at the bottom, we have the five new exposure methods. And as CSO mentioned, hybrid works the best with all these settings. So just feel free to stay on the hybrid. Honestly, it is the best. And on the bottom, fellas, we have target and mix, which control the auto exposure. However, they do not work for the hybrid mode. They work for the other methods. But you won't have to dial with them because you do have plenty of exposure control right here. So that's everything you need to know about all the sliders and the settings. And a big disclaimer, guys, keep in mind that graphics and how your game looks depends a lot on the monitor, the mods you're using, and what settings you're running in Content Major and CSP. But don't worry about this because honestly, my monitor is very garbage compared to most of you out there, as they've seen, that contacted me. It's using TN Matrix, it's barely any colors, it's literally monitor for FPS games, shooter games. So you'll definitely rock better graphics than mine. Now let's jump into the showcase.